Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. How are you, y'all? Are you good, bad, stressed, tired, awesome? Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good to hear you, Luis. Thank you so much for answering. All right, everyone, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. I hope that, as per usual, you're safe and sound, all right? And let's get started with the class. So let's check, because we have plenty of you, all right? Ya tenemos bastantitos. You are like eight right now. So today is Wednesday, April 26, 2023. We are officially in class number seven, all right? So that's great. Tomorrow you have class number eight. And basically you are just fin you are just waiting for eight classes and that's it. Pasando esta semana, ya solo les quedan dos semanitas, all right? Lunes hay descanso por um, May 1st. And of course, we're going to work that Friday, el viernes de la siguiente semana, de la otra semana. Vamos a tener que trabajarlo, right? Vamos a tener que estudiar ese día, tener clases. Pero al menos van a descansar on Monday, which is awesome. Next week, we are also going to rest uh, Wednesday, which is also pretty amazing. So that's something good to point out. Now, I have noticed, he notado, that sometimes when I ask uh, to you, how are you? You don't usually answer. Usualmente me contestan dos personas o tres. Exagerando, right? So I'm not sure if you don't answer because you don't know how to. No estoy segura si no contestan porque no saben cómo, which is normal, lo cual es normal. I'm not sure if just because you don't like it o porque no están en ese momento ahí o porque no les gusta. If by any chances is because you don't know how, si por algún motivo es porque no sabemos cómo, well, I have this chart for you. So when you listen this question, how are you? Or when you listen uh, the question, what are you up to? How have you been? All right, cuando escuchen cualquiera de esas tres preguntas, you may answer, I'm worried, I'm excited. I'm scared, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm angry, I'm excited, or I'm surprised, <laughs> I'm silly or frustrated. Those are some of the common emotions that we have, all right? Of course, you can use, I'm great, I'm fine, right? That's normal. O también pueden utilizar, I'm okay. That's pretty usual and normal. But if by any chances you have this question about how to answer, pero si por algún motivo usted en realidad no se siente bien y no quiere mentir y decir, good, fine, excellent, quiere decir, I feel sad, do it, all right? I feel angry, say it. I feel excited, express it, all right? Para eso tenemos el feeling chart. Si hay algo que quieren expresar al momento que se les pregunta, how are you? You can do it. You're welcome to, all right? So we have pretty basic vocabulary. It's a vocabulary of being basic. Uh, if you didn't know it about it, now you know, you can use it. So without being said, let's move on to the following. We have a conversation. Yesterday we were working on, ayer estuvimos trabajando en esta conversación. If I'm not mistaken, quiero que me levanten por favor la manita virtual quienes trabajaron esta conversación ayer. O sea, ¿quiénes pasaron? Because I don't remember. Ok, perfect, perfect. Kevin, David Rosales. Who else? ¿Quién más? Carlos Salvador. Great. Excellent. All right. Solo ellos tres pasaron ayer. That's great. Uh, today we're going to have the rest of the class. Sorry. Luis Rivas también. Luis Rivas también. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Gracias. Ok, los, los que pasaron ayer, well, don't worry. Ya no se preocupen porque ya pasaron ayer. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, so don't worry about it. Um, we're going to have the rest of the students. So let's check. Okay, Kevin Ernesto, Kevin Daniel, Carlos y Luis Rivas pasaron ayer. 
Vamos a ver, let's have eh, Jency, you are team. Lisette Rodríguez, you are Jessica. Action. Solo recordándoles algunas palabritas, right? For example, Korea. No es Corea, no es Korea, es Korea. Y so, ok? Action. Are you from uh, Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. But I were from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from How do you say teacher? The young. The young. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the young. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, yes it is. All right, excellent. Thank you. Bravo, thank you. Now, remember, recuerden que ayer tenían de tarea repasar esta conversation. ¿Ok? Porque dice, fue la primera, le ayudé ahí con el vocabulary, pero en realidad ya no debería, porque se hizo ayer eh, la conversation, ya recuerdo que la practiqué con Mr. Rivera, escuchamos el listening, la hice yo sola, pasaron dos parejas, so, I don't think you need more, right? So, let's go with the next one. <clears throat> Let me have Mario Molina, you are team, and Jackie, you are Jessica, action. ¿Quién soy yo? Me dijo. <laughs> Sorry. You are him. Ah, ok, ok. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California. No, no about. We're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No. We're not from Seoul. We're from Dayo. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, give me one sec. I'm sorry, I had a chicote. <laughs> All right. Vino un chicote a mi mesita, así que tenía que espantarlo. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go back. Thank you so much, uh, Jackie and Mario. That was great. All right. No problems with the pronunciation whatsoever. I think you did awesome. Thank you. Now, let's go with the next pair, which is going to be uh, Miguel Angel and Manuel de Jesus. Miguel Angel, you are teen. Manuel de Jesus, you are Jessica. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from Dijon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Manuel, and let me think about it. Manuel and da, 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 da. where is your name? Manuel de Jesus and also Miguel. Thank you so much. I gotta say, I feel that you haven't practiced all of you. Siento que no todos han practicado la conversation porque me siguen diciendo Sol o me dicen Seúl and it's Sol, right? Uh, same thing with co with Korea, but still you're practicing. Espero que si lo hayan practicado. So far we're doing so good. Now let me listen to the next pair: Sandra Avalos and Kevin Chicas. Sandra Avalos, you are Jessica. Kevin Chicas, you are Team Action. Okay. Are you are from, you from Korea? Sorry. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is California now, but we're from Korean 
Korea originally? Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. For, from Seoul, sorry. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from... Teacher, how do you say? Daejeon. 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 Thanks. From Daejeon. So your... Okay, so is your first language Korean? Yes, yes it is. Very good, excellent. Thank you, both of you. That was great. And complain. Now, uh, I think <coughs> those were the only students that I was missing yesterday. Creo que eran los únicos estudiantes que me faltaban y me falta Freddy, pero no sé si está... If you are free, Freddy. No sé si está en la clase. Okay, he's not in the class. Brand new. Let's move on. Negative statements and yes, no questions with B. And we have the first column. We all have a negative statements, right? And we also have to the next column, we have questions which are yes or no. ¿Por qué se llaman yes or no questions? A ver. Ajá. Yo les dije, como la tercera clase se los dije. Because they are being answered with yes or no. Porque la respuesta de estas preguntas es con yes or no. Simple as that. Solo piensa en la palabra answer. All right. Automáticamente. Porque, porque están cerradas. Right. Yes. Very good, Mario. Ya esa es una explicación mayor. Very good. They are closed questions, right? Eh, como mencionó Mario, se le llama también preguntas cerradas, closed questions, because they don't, uh, they don't give you a space to provide more information. Porque no te dan más espacio para proveer más información, all right? Usualmente si yo hago una yes or no question, yo no quiero que la persona me relate cómo ha estado su día, all right? Sino que le voy a preguntar algo inconciso. Usualmente... De hecho, no es que usualmente, es siempre. Las yes or no questions se hacen o se forman con el verb to be first, con el verbo to be primero. All right? So, let's go with this. Let me have... Carlos Salvador, please. Read the first four sentences in negative. Las primeras cuatro oraciones, primeras cuatro oraciones in negative, please. Okay, I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. Very good, excellent. Manuel de Jesus, you're painting my you're you're painting my PowerPoint. Está pintando mi pizarra. Bueno, no mi pizarra, mi PowerPoint. Okay, thank you, Salvador. That was great. You didn't have any issues with the countries. Let's continue. Let's go with Luis Rivas. Continue with the other four sentences. It is not English. We are not from Japan. You are not Italy. They are not in Mexico. Where Thank you. We are. Exactly. Thank you. Where we are. Where we are. equals we are. We are. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay, so let's check. Then we have questions. Vamos a pedirle a Daniel Rivera to tell me the first three questions, las primeras tres preguntas, y se las va a contestar David Rosales con estas, right? Me van a decir ambas. For example, are you from California? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Sí, one and one. Action. Uh, are you from California? No, I am not. No, David, what happened? Acabo de explicar, David, ¿qué pasó? Both. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 
Okay. Uh, and I early? Yes, you are. Is she is from Brazil? Yes, she is. Okay, thank you. Miren, yo espero que cuando diga las instructions, you try to get them, all right? Thank you, Kevin. Uh, por cierto, la que usted dijo, eh, la segunda, se pronuncia amai. Right? Ah, amai. Uh -huh. Amai, yes, very good. Uh, perfect. De nuevo, a las siguientes personas que voy a pedirle la respuesta, quiero las dos, tanto positiva como negativa, all right? Please, affirmation and negative. Let's go with Mario Molina. Uh, from Chile to China, please. And Miguel, the answers. Action. Is it Karen? Uh, uh, no, wait. <laughs> no uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Is he from Chile? No, he's. How is that? ¿Cómo fue eso? No, he is. Perdón. Tenemos dos opciones y las dos quiero que me diga. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he's not. Both, ambas. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Thank you. Is it Korean? 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 It is, it's not. Ok, Miguel, ah, yo no, no sé si no, no logra ver aquí, Miguel, quizás, no se ve muy bien, quizás. El yes, para afirmativo sería yes, it yes, is. It is. No, not, it's, it's not. not. Thank you. Continue, Mario. Are you from China? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, we are. No, perdón. No, we're not. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Simple as that. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Kevin, chicas, you ask the last two. So, pregunta las últimas dos. Jensi Valle, you answer, please. Okay. Are we late? Yes, you are. No, you are not. Are they in Canada? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Now, notice that we start with the verb to be. Por favor, mantengan eso en la mente, ¿ok? Iniciamos con el verb to be, las yes or no. Y para los que se preguntan todavía cómo se pronuncia la segunda, siempre va a ser am I. Pueden decirlo lento, am I, pero no, en realidad no se escucha bien. Tiene que ser am I, right? Am I from California? Am I early? Am I late? Cuando usted llega a un lugar tarde, pero usted en realidad no sabía la hora de llegada y solo llegó. All right? Puede preguntar, am I late? I'm sorry if I'm late. All right? Ahí es donde lo utiliza. So, very good. Let's move on to the next one. Just. We have formula or a structure. Let me listen to Jackie, please. Can you read the structure? Um, formula or structure, sentences, subject, plus verb to be, plus not, plus complement. Very good, thank you. These are sentence in negative, right? Sentence in negative. Por eso llevamos el not de un solo, que es el negativo. When we are talking about sentences, cuando son oraciones, they always going to begin with subject. Siempre van a iniciar con el sujeto, okay? So let's copy this on your notebooks, please. Let me know when you finish.
Shall I move on? ¿Muevo la slide o todavía están tomando nota? I don't know what's going on. Do you listen? ¿Sí se me escucha el audio? Yes. Sí. Okay, perfect. So I will repeat my question. Voy a reformular mi pregunta. May I change the screen now? ¿Puedo cambiar yes. la slide? Perfect. Yes. Yes. It's not that hard. Ya ven, no es tan difícil. Thank you. So let's check. We have five sentences which are in negative. Let me listen to Sandra Avalos, number one and two, please. Marilyn is not from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. I am not a good student. Thank you. Luis Rivas, number three and four. You're not, you're not part of, of my family. Casey is not my brother. Thank you. And the last one, Lisette Rodriguez, please. It's not cloudy today. That's correct. Thank you. Notice all of them are in negative. Todas están en negativo. No le he agregado nada más que la palabra not. All right, to give them sense para darle sentido. Without being said, let me just check. Veamos si tengo su practice por aquí. Okay, yes. What I want you to do right now, lo que quiero que hagan ahorita es two sentences in negative, dos oraciones en negativo, all right? Utilizando el verb to be. Let's do it, please. You have the examples in here, ya tienen la estructura y aquí tienen los ejemplos. Let's work on it. I'm done. Perfect. Thank you. That was David Rosales. Perfect. <clears throat> Another one. Alguien más que ya haya finalizado? Finish. Perfect, Manuel. Finish. Great, Mr. Rivera. Thank you. Okay, so today is boys' power. <laughs> Ahora solo los, los hombres han finalizado. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's get straight to the point. Vamos a escuchar a David. Let me listen to you, David. My sister is not here now. Uh -huh. They are not my friends. You are not my friends. Oh, that was that. But thank you, David. That's correct. Thank you. 
uh, both of them are grammatically speaking correct, all right? Ambas están gramaticalmente hablando correctas. Action, Manuel Hernández. We're not speak English. I'm not complete all my homework. All right, veamos esa. Eh, repita la primera. We're not speak English. No somos hablando, habl no somos hablando ah, inglés. No, no, no. ¿Qué me We're quiere not... decir con eso? Que nosotros no hablamos inglés. Ah, uh, we don't speak English. Ah, uh, we don't. Sí, pero ya es. Uh, eh, la acción. No, este, ajá. Ah, ya es simple present. Uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. A ver la segunda de nuevo, please. I am not complete all my homework. Lo mismo. I did not complete my all my homework. Mm, ya la entendí. Yes, yes. Va, bien. ¿Nota usted? Eh, no, no tenemos otro verbo aquí. Más que todo tenemos cosas como para describir o hablar de nacionalidades, all right? Porque el verbo to be, que sería ser o estar, solo se acomoda a eso. Cuando ya le agregamos un verbo, ya cambia de tense, cambia de tiempo gramatical y se vuelve progresivo. Mm. Ok, perfect. Let's work the other two. Trabajemos las otras dos, entonces. Let's go, Mr. Daniel Rivera. Um, Kevin is not working at home. Uh, Sofia is not my sister. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Simple but straight. Very good. Let's check the next one. Vamos con Karen Osorio. It's not a good singer. All right. It, uh, it's not a good singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not dancing now. Vaya, pero como está now. utilizando el it's y el it's es para eso, mm. entonces no sé si, si me está utilizando el it's porque no conoce el género de la persona eh, o porque lo, se equivocó y quería utilizar el it's. Eh, lo hago así como en general. Ah, en general, ok. Uh -huh. mm. Ok, yeah, that would work. Sí, sí puede funcionar, Karen. Thank okay. you. Gracias. All right, let's go with Manuel de Jesús. My brother is not in the class. Mm -hmm. You are not Salvadorian. You are not Salvadorian. Very good. Thank you. Mario Molina, your turn. It's not raining tonight uh -huh. uh, my sister is not from el salvador my sister is not from el salvador yeah yeah that's correct thank you <coughs> let's go with carlos salvador <laughs> it's not my dog and we're not friends. We're not friends. Very good. Por ahí creo que escuché esa también de friends. Pero Pero no recuerdo el, el sujeto. Ajá. Eso le iba a decir. No recuerdo el sujeto o el, o el posesivo. Cuando lo escuché dije, rayos, ya me lo quitaron. Okay. <laughs> me la copiaron, dijo. <laughs> ok, don't worry. Let's go with Miguel Ángel. I'm not flying to Canada. Repeat. They are not working. Repita la uno, por favor. I am not flying to Canada. Canada. Vale, pero eh, dígamela en español. Es, no volaré a Canadá. Vale, y eso es presente, futuro, pasado para usted. Eh, futuro, presente, presente, perdón, no volaré. All right, are you sure? I will not travel to Canada, I will not fly to Canada. I will not, okay. Ya ahí es futuro, right? No voy. I, I will not. No, ajá. 
que no va a poder realizar, pero siempre en futuro. Ok. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Basémonos en la structure, Miguel, ¿all right? La estructura no le pide mucho, solo va a colocar un sujeto, el verbo to be y el not. No le pide otro verbo. Porque ahí usted me puso fly y fly ya es otro verbo. Ok. Very good, thank you. Now let's go with the next one. Let me check. Sandra Ábalos, please. Y luego Kevin Chicas. Claudia is not my mother. Mm -hmm. You are not an Eng in in English class. You are not in English class. Very good. You are not in the, para ser más específicos, in the. In the, okay. English class. Perfect. Thank you. Kevin, chicas. Okay. <coughs> I am not sick. It is not myself. Very good. Perfect. Lisette Rodriguez. I am I am not from El Salvador. Uh -huh. You are not a go a good dancer. You're not a good dancer, very good. Jackie. Um, she's not my sister. Um I'm not cleaning my room. All right, she's not a good sister and I'm not cleaning my room. Uh, cleaning. Ahí me está utilizando progresivo. No estoy limpiando. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Limpiando, cleaning. Let's mm. check that one. Chequemos esa porque no me la puede hacer progresiva. Let's go with William Castro. Hello. Hello there. Mario Bros. is not my favorite movie. How dare you? <laughs> it's 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 just an, an example. <laughs> yeah, okay, very good, very good. <laughs> and the other, he's not a good listener. Okay, very good, excellent, thank you. That was great. That was great. Me afligió por un momento, but it's just an example, right? Very good. Let's go with. Let me check. Kevin Ernesto, please. Y luego Jensi Valle. Carla is not my sister. Uh -huh. Is not speak Spanish. All right, very good. Thank you, Kevin. Let's go with Mr. Valle. I'm not a good brother with my sister. Oh, okay, very good. Um, well, um, Karen is is not my wife. Very good, she's excellent. My sister. Yeah, she's your sister. Perfect. Third person, straight to the point. Freddy, do you have your sentences? <clears throat> okay. Let's move on to the next one. Formula or structure. This formula or structure is for yes or no questions with B. So we have, Daniel, can you please read the structure? Uh, formula or structure? Yes. Uh, or? Teacher, uh, how do you say pleca in English? Slash. Slash. Mm -hmm. Yes, a slash no question with the verb to be plus subject plus complement plus um, how do you say signal interrogation in, in English? Question mark. Question mark. Yes, very good. Thank you. Very good. <clears throat> you utilizó las preguntas de el classroom language. Very good. Excelente. Lo felicito. Now, everyone, solo tomen en consideración algo, por favor. Este es el tema. All right. Este es el tema de la estructura. Yes or no questions with be. La estructura reza desde aquí. ¿Ok? Desde verb to be, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Por si alguien se me, se me confunde, ¿verdad? Quiero explicar eso. Aunque está bien obvio cuál es el tema y cuál no. All right. Let's copy this on your notebooks, please. Copiemos esta estructura en su cuaderno, por favor.
Now, I have a question for you, my dear students. Tengo una pregunta para ustedes. How many of you already finished section three? ¿Quiénes ya finalizaron la sección tres? No el midterm exam, solo la sección tres. Fíjese que yo tengo eh, un problema. Eh, ¿No? Ya le pregunté a dos contactos diferentes diciéndoles de que yo no puedo ingresar a la plataforma porque en mi correo una letra eh, la interpretaron mal. En vez de la U pusieron, en vez de la V pusieron una U y yo no he podido ingresar. Desde la mañana le pregunté a un muchacho, pero ella no me dio respuesta. Y... y... ¿Y por qué no ingresa con el correo que tiene? Aunque tenga el error gramatical, que sé que no es correcto que esté ahí, pero ¿por qué no ingresa y trabaja en la plataforma? Y... Ah, eso, no, eso no, me lo, no me lo dijo el, el chico. Creí que como tenía que validar la cuenta, tendría que tener acceso mm. a ese correo. Yo no, no sé, honestamente, ahí, David, yo le estoy diciendo lo que yo haría, right? I will use that one. Yo usaría ese mientras me arreglan el otro para no atrasarme. Va, voy a probar a, a, ajá, voy a probar ahorita a ver si, si me deja. Yes, try, intente. Y si no, igual pues eh, voy a escribirle mejor ahorita mismo a, a mi jefe que usted tiene ese problema. Sí, Ay, sería bueno que se lo resolvieran porque si no la, el sí. diploma no le va a caer. Yeah, that's true. Y si le cae, le va a caer con el nombre erróneo. Sí, así es. Okay. Acabo de probar y dice que sí necesito eh, activar la cuenta primero para poder usarla. Uh -huh. Ok. David, David ya me había comentado de esto usted. ¿No, verdad? Sí, había puesto en el grupo. Y ah, pero uno, en el grupo. Y, ajá, uno, un, una muchacha me abordó, eh, dijo que me iba a ayudar y ya no me escribió. Y después me escribió otro muchacho y me dijo que me iba a re resolver en la mañana. Y en la tarde solo me envió eh, un mensaje diciendo de que lo que usted está diciendo ahorita de la sección 3. Ok, ok, perfect. Eh, voy a poner un ratito el micrófono, ok, porque quiero enviar la nota de voz ahorita. Thank you. teacher and I have a microphone. Yes, I was sending the David's issue right now. Estaba enviándole a mi jefe ahorita una nota de voz con el problema de David. All right? Porque si no lo hago ahorita, se me olvida later on and then I won't help you. Y si no, pues no, no le ayudo, David. Así que por eso, I'm sorry about that. But thank you. Let's continue. Esperemos le resuelvan, David, okay? Vaya, pero ya speaking like through words, hablando en serio, ¿quiénes ya finalizaron la section 3? None of you, nadie, ok. Well, let's continue with this. Continuemos con esto. Ahora último día para finalizar la sección 3. Mañana solo van a trabajar el midterm exam, basically. So we have the guiding examples. Tenemos los ejemplos guías, as per usual, right? Now, let's check. Uh, let me listen to Gen C, please. Read number one and number two, question and answer. Okay. Are you from Australia? Yes, I am. Am I your friends? No, I'm not. Very good, excellent, thank you. All right, <clears throat> let's go with Luis Rivas, number three and four, question and answer. Is she, is she from Mexico? Yes, she is. Are Maria and William Frank? Are Maria, are Maria and William Frank? Huh? No. No. They are, they are, they are not. 
Yes, exactly. Pueden poner no, they are not, como mencionó Luis, o pueden poner la contraction, que es la que yo tengo aquí. No, they aren't. No, no they aren't. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's go with the practice time. Mario Molina, please read the instructions. Léame las instrucciones. Work individually. Two, create two questions using yes, no, question with B. Yeah. Share your question with the class. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Perfecto. Como lo leyó. All right. Everyone, let's work on it. Please, trabajemos en estas dos oraciones, en estas dos preguntas, perdón. If you want to write down the answer, si quieren escribir la respuesta de un solo, do it. Son bienvenidos a hacerlo. If you don't want to, don't do it. Y si no quieren, you don't have to. Right? Let's work on it. Uh, my dear students, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the list, okay? Voy a tomarles la asistencia, the attendance list. No sé, son miércoles 26. Beatriz Adriana Mejía Martínez. Absent. Carlos Salvador Velázquez Medrano. Present. Evelyn Mercedes Flores García. Freddy Sebastián Franco. Are you absent? Jacqueline Beatriz Melendez Moreno. Present. Jose David Rosales Vázquez, Velázquez, perdón. My bad. Present. Excellent. Jose Mario Molina Delgado. I am here. Karen Lizette Osorio Martinez. Present. Kevin Alexander Batres Deras. Okay. 
Kevin Antonio Chicas Guevara. Present. Kevin Daniel Rivera Calderón. Present. Right. Thank you. Kevin Ernesto García. Present. Luis Alfonso Rivas. Present. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Yes, there you are. Manuel de Jesús Campos. Present. Marlene Lisset Rodríguez Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Galán. Presente. Presente. Present. I call. Sandra Beatriz Ábalos de Ramírez. Present. William Alexander Castro Figueroa. Present. Jensi Asensio Valle. Present. Wow, look at you. We have a lot of students. That's great. Solo dos personas hicieron falta. Very good. Congratulations to you. Los felicito. Eso es muy bueno, right? Let's continue, shall we? Okay, who has finished? ¿Quiénes finalizaron ya las questions? I'm done. Great, very good. Another one? ¿Quién más? Finish. Great. Finish. Perfect. Okay, let's get started. Let's go with William Castro, please. Tell me your two questions. Okay. Is she a good singer? Yes, she is a good singer. Are you happy with your job? No, I am not happy with my job. It's an example. It's okay. An example. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Good examples, actually. If you were pretty honest, let's go with Cas Carlos Salvador, please. Is he your boss? No, he is. He isn't. Um, he isn't, sorry. Are we the best team? Yes, we are. Very good. Great. Excellent. David Rosales, please. Is he your mother? Yes, he is. She is. <laughs> Are you talking seriously? Yes, I am. Hmm, David, what happened? ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Qué le pasó? Veamos. Talking, talking progresivo. ¿Estás hablando en serio? Are you talking seriously? Sí está correcto, no le voy a mentir, está muy correcto, está perfecto. Pero es progression, ya es otro tiempo gramatical, right? So let's change that one. Let's go with Daniel, please. Uh, are you learning English? Yes, I am. Are Mario and Luigi brothers? Yes, they are. Okay, perfect. Vaya, en la primera también me está utilizando ING, me está utilizando progression. Are you learning English? Si está correcta, no le voy a mentir, gramaticalmente está Perfect. Pero ya es otro tiempo gramatical. Qué bueno que ya lo van agarrando, pero it's another tense. Ya es otro tiempo. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Um, Sandra Ábalos, please. Mm -hmm. Antes que pase Sandra, Kevin, ¿tiene una consulta o quiere participar ya? Eh, no, una pregunta. Bueno, vamos. Este, yo usaré, bueno, un ejemplo que yo tengo, este, eres nuevo, pero como en signo de pregunta, como cuando hay un alumno nuevo en la escuela, un compañero nuevo, uh -huh. está bien dicho, are you new? Ajá, uh -huh, yes. O es diferente. Cuando usted le está preguntando directamente a esa persona, si ¿sí está correcto, uh, are you new? Está correcto. Pero si está hablando con su grupo de amigos, puede decirle, dependiendo si es un hombre o una mujer, 
is he new or is she new? Um, okay. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's go with Sandra, please. Is he from El Salvador? <laughs> yes, he is. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Perfect. Excellent. Let's go with Kevin Chicas. And after Kevin Chicas, Jancy Valle. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Is she from El Salvador? No, she's. Oh, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Action, Mr. Valle. Are you from Argentina? Yes, I am. Are Kathleen and John friends? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Okay, but in that that one looks like mine. Esa se parece la mía, Jensi. Yes, but you say that uh, only in the structures use. I no, use a the mean, structure. Friends. Me refiero a que utilizó friends exactamente. That's what I meant. Okay, uh, are Kathleen good? and John. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And um, Kathleen and Claudio's sisters. Ah, okay. Yes, Perfect. they are. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, do not get confused, everyone. No nos confundamos, all right? Utilizar la structure is one thing. Ya los ejemplos solo es para darles más apoyo, okay? Aunque algunos de ustedes ya manejan el, te el tema muy bien, pero solo son apoyo. Let's go with Manuel Hernández. Uh, are you a singer? Mm -hmm. No, I am not. Is Fabi a teacher? Yes, she is. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Jackie. And after Jackie, Miguel. Is he from España? Yes, I am. Um, I... Am I your cat? No, I not. All right. Repeat number one. Repítame la uno, por favor. Is he from España? Spain. 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 All right. Yes. I am. All right. Pero, vaya, le, le planteo esto, eh, Jackie. Cuando usted dice, is he from Spain? Es él de España. O sea, viene él de España. All right. Es como que usted le esté preguntando a alguien más. No le está preguntando directamente a él. Por ende, la respuesta solo puede ser yes, he is o no, he's not. Mm, bueno. A no ser que usted le esté preguntando directamente a él, como que yo te diga, Jackie, are you from Spain? Ahí usted me puede contestar, oh, no, I'm not. Ahí puede contestar con el am. Am. Um. Pero si no le estoy preguntando directamente a usted, sino que estoy chambreando con mi co-worker, eh, hablando con mi compañero de la par, entonces ahí sí cambia, right? Bueno. Tienen que utilizar la tercera persona. Let's go with Salvador, please. Or it was Miguel. No me acuerdo si era Miguel o a Salvador. Miguel, right? Did you meet my brothers? No, I didn't. Are you coming? Yes. Yeah, let's follow the structure. <laughs> Sigamos la estructura. Para eso tienen los ejemplos y la structure. Me lo están cambiando los tiempos gramaticales. Right? Y si están correctas. Por, a nadie le he dicho que, las, que están incorrectas. No es that. Notemos eso. Pero no pueden estarse adelantando los tiempos gramaticales. Porque no me queda claro a mí si en realidad están comprendiendo el verb to be. The use of it, right? El uso de él, porque no lo están practicando. Me están metiendo pasado, perfecto, pasado, eh, normal, right? So, let's be careful with that. Now, the last one, el último, eh, Luis Rivas. Let me listen to your examples. Your microphone, Luis. You are the happy with this job? Yes, I am. Are you happy? In this job. Uh, are the you job? happy in this job? Yes, I am. Hmm? You are playing football? Yes, I am. ¿Por qué me está poniendo el subject primero? Tiene que ir el verb to be. Are you? Are you? Oh. 
And you play football? Yes, I am. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Luis. Now, my dear students, just as a reminder, como recordatorio, let's please work on section three. Tomorrow we have the midterm exam and that's pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, take care, have a great night. See ya. Take care. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. See you.